Well, hey there. Hi, hello, and welcome. This is Bite Size Battletech EX Second Strike here on Way Too Late TV. I am Sam, your host, and today we are sticking around in the illusion system, uh, and uh, we've got a large amount of nice little contracts to choose from. We've got everyone ready to go. Uh, the barracks are full, and uh, the max are ready to go as well. Um, let's head on over to the big board and get things started. That was pathetic, let's go. There we go. All righty, here we have uh, Argo ship upgrade, repaired power, power conduits in four days, financial report in 11. Uh, Illusion system, we are in the Torian Concordat space. Uh, hiring hall, we already got uh, freedom from here. Um, there's no one else worth our time between Chaos, Heizem, <laughs> and Jive, even though I like That's Jive for me. Um, uh, let's take a look at the store, actually. I, I can't believe I didn't actually look at the store. Uh, I'll be 10x ammo. I will pick that up, actually, because you never know when. Available. You're going to need one of those. And uh, that is it for stuff that I enjoy. Um, AC5, AC10, AC20. Um, nothing really that great of note there. Let's head over to uh, the command center. Take a look at the contracts. Uh, we've got sending a message, training day, last max standing, dug in deep, unwelcome trespass, one man's art, an insurrection protection, which is a travel contract, two and a half skulls, that is way out of our pay grade. Um, uh, I believe unwelcome trespass may be what we're looking at here. It is a battle in the Badlands. Um, it's for the uh, Federated Sons, but... Maybe we want something for the Torians, since we are in Torian space. Uh, training day, um, Battle in the Tundra. Training day, um, not great for XP, because you only bring one mech warrior. And I say that because you, you, you only bring one mech warrior and the other three are filled in with NPCs. Well, not so much NPCs because you you do control them, but they are non-player characters. Last mech standing, battle in the polar, but that's against the pirates. And this is a blackout in the Badlands. Uh, I don't like blackouts right now, but let's 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 try. Um, you know what? Let's do training day. It's four priority, sixteen scattered salvage. It, it it really whips a llama's ass. I don't know why I keep saying that. Okay, Torian Concordant, Battle in the Tundra, Half Skull. Uh, training day, 292,600 damn sea bills, four priority, 16 scattered, salvage, max reputation, plus three with the Torian Concordant. Dawn Dusk and Foggy in that Tundra. <clears throat> We're trying to build a local defense force of mech warriors here on Illusion. Our pilots are inexperienced and untested. We'd like you to help us train them. We picked a troubling signal, which may represent hostile activity, which seems like a good opportunity to send our new defense force out to handle it. Can you bring along an experienced mech warrior and mech to keep them out of trouble? I can only imagine what kind of junk heaps these locals are going to be piloting. I'm expecting Herbies. Bring along something tough, Commander. What if I bring along an Herbie myself? Um, this looks good. 159,600 damn sea bills and two priority. Ten scattered salvage. Two rep with the Torians and minus two with the Federated Sons. I'll take it. Put some butts in some mechs. Lock, 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 lock. Um, Bramble is not going on this one. Um, you know who is, though? Uh, Aftershock. And Aftershock is not in the Vulcan. Aftershock is in the, uh... Bring the Irby. 
Is it the Clint? No, not the Clint. I, I guess it really is the Vulcan. I guess it really is the Vulcan. Okay, aftershocks going in the Vulcan. It's 125 damn tons, which is one skull's worth. Pontoon is in an urban mech. Flapjacks is in an urban mech. And Stubble is in a Commando 2D. This is what we're working with, folks. Pontoon, Flapjacks, and Stubble. We will see you on the battlefield. Oh gosh, I'm really excited about this. I hope we see some fighting. I... I'm not sure. We didn't do very well at the practice range. Just because you almost blew up the observation bunker. Ah, right. Anyway, Commander, I'm seeing a single Davian Lance here. Like actual Davian mechs? With real guns? I can't wait. I'm gonna lick their asses. Kick, it's... You know what, never mind. Have fun, Commander. I'll be on station. Meet me here when you're ready to leave. Wait, where are we going? I just figured out how to turn on my radio. Ready for action. Okay, Stubble in the Commando. Stubble gets the longest... Uh... Range. Acknowledged. This is Flapjacks. Moving to position. And I, I am sending them into the forest. And the Vulcan is going on the road. Your Waiting turn. for orders. Rolling. Irby. Roger. Irby. Copy and that, the Commander. Vulcan. Okay. Your turn. This is the commando. No, you don't want to step in that. That's bad. That's geothermal. Units passing through geothermal terrain only seeing 50% of their normal heat. That's, Moving that's really bad. Irby goes on the street. Irby goes on the street. Coordinates received. And the Vulcan goes into the uh, forest. And there we have... Uh, hey, uh, XO, I'm tracking an inbound blip coming in fast and low like they're making a drop-off. Keep us updated, Meyer. That means reinforcements. Just like Mom used to make. Hey, that is a wasp, which is just a general annoyance. I'm receiving you. Commando is going to move right about there. I'm going. What does a commando have? Medium laser and two uh, SRMs. Ten SRM missiles to begin with. Firing all weapons. I didn't need too, too much. The target. That's because it missed with everything. Okay. That, that explains things. Receiving you. Kirby. Irby can move here, which is the only place where it has a shot. Flapjacks has an accent. 15% shot, so I'm just going to brace. Waiting for orders. Right there. Moving out. Moving out. Urban Mech has a shot on the wasp. 4% shot. That is a brace. And then the Vulcan can move right there into the forest and actually get some decent numbers here. All weapons committed. Okay, that left shoulder is worse for the wear. Commander, I've got my eyes on a new lance in the AO. Looks like Capel and Markins. Um, is that supposed to happen? What do we do now? We kill the new guys too, just like in the holovids. Up to you if you want to engage the new targets, Commander. If not, Samir will make the pickup at the evac LZ. I, I'm going after him because salvage. Ooh, okay. Going after the rear of the Vulcan. But that's a 40 tonner, so good freaking luck. That's a fire starter, okay. I'm ready. 
Commando moving right there. Onward. Those are horrible numbers, so. Affirmative. Warning, oh, critical okay. hit. Enough torso destroyed. All right, that that did a number on it. Standing by. And that number is. Confirmed. A lot. Locking on target. Ah. Failed it to connect. Missed. Standing by. Irby's gonna move right there. Location confirmed. And this is gonna be a precision strike, just because. 76% shot. Okay, right torso and right arm destroyed. That hit something good. Panic level critical. Are you gonna stick around? Are you? Right now, I can hit both of these things if I had multi target, but I don't. All weapons committed. That's Engine the last destroyed. One. All primary targets down. All primary targets down. The primary targets are down, Commander. You can evac at any time. I'm going after that uh, other one. Affirmative. I'm on station. Meet me at this LZ. I'm going after that fire starter, dang it. I want a fire starter piece. Damage minimal. Or maybe three, if I can maybe uh, headshot this thing. I await your command. With an, maybe an urban mech? Aye, aye. 11% shot, let's do it. Firing. Nothing. You know, that's XCOM, baby. I'm your Spaniel. Mando right there. Really bad numbers with this commando. I'm receiving you. Irby? 10-4 fire. Twelve percent whiffed off to the uh, right. Volky. Off to the side and we go. All weapons committed. That right leg is worse for the wear. Okay. Irby takes a little damage. Yes, Commander. And we go on the Irby. Straight Bunch. on. Maybe gay on. Who knows? No, that is not a precision strike. That's just fire. Firing. 11% shot. Standing what are you going to do? Confirmed. 28. Okay. Will be done. On my way. Those are better numbers. Okay, that thing's structure city. And now, put some more pressure on it. It's panicked. I'm here. I copy. Let's just fire 52% on the AC-10 and 69%, 69 on the uh, small laser. Firing all weapons. And hit with the small laser. Orders. Forty-four percent. Okay. Left torso, left arm destroyed. Critical. That is a panic eject. It's just one of those days. All targets eliminated. Sit tight and I can collect you from where you're at right now. Mission successful. Let's go. All right, 199,500 damn sea bills for 25% extra contract payment for destroying the opposing Capellan forces. Um, no damage on the, uh, uh, uh well, a little bit of damage on the uh, left arm on the Vulcan, but 400 XP for uh, uh, Aftershock, and a kill and a Panic Eject for uh, Aftershock. Uh, fire Starter piece, Wasp piece. So that gives me a whole ass Wasp. I'll take both of those. Uh, flamer, two Flamers, so three Flamers. Medium Laser, Machine Gun, a SRM2, 
uh, four small jump jets, and a machine gun ammo for a total of 2,293,333 damn sea bills uh, uh, as the value of the salvage that I just got. All right, I uh, got a Wasp 1A. Um, you will not build the Wasp 1A. Sell it, actually, for 191,488 damn sea bills. So that gives us 1.145.089 1 uh, I know numbers. 1,145,089 damn sea bills. Uh, Aftershock is fatigued for six days, but that's okay. Let's uh, actually get to the barracks, see what Aftershock can get. 1,300 out of 1,600. That is frustrating, but understandable. So I'll go to the mech bay. Nothing really to worry about. Uh, the wasp uh, is going into storage. Um, let's move the locust over and let's go to the store so that we can actually sell that wasp because I hate the wasps. Sell it for 163,840 and 1.308 mil. Almost 1.309, but who's counting? Um, let's go to the Argo and uh, get Aftershock out of fatigue. That work order is complete, boss. Required Top -notch work, or repaired if I power. So. Repaired power conduits is complete. Uh, get Aftershock back out of fatigue, and we are all set. This is end of episode 002. That is not end of episode. That is wow. End of episode 002 of uh, Bite Size Battletech EX. Second Strike. Second Strike. Um, Aftershock is the kid of Earthquake. We are in the future. Kind of. Um, so, uh, thank you for joining. This has been uh, Way Too Late TV. I've been your host, Sam. If you'd like to join me on the internet, you can do so at waytoolatetv.com. That is waytoolatetv.com. There's a link in the extended to get there. Lickety split. Uh, if you like the video, please do like the video. If you want to subscribe, there is a subscribe button just down there. Or you can hover over my face in that lovely corner up there. That's the one. That's pretty much it. Good night, my night owl. Sleep well. Boop. You get there. <laughs>